So recently I've really been getting into photography and I love the process of finding new locations, shooting new outfits, getting creative and the whole editing process. COVID-19 came and really impacted photographers as we can't go meet models and visit new locations so thousands have resulted to shooting against a plain white bedsheet. I didn't want to let COVID-19 destroy my creativity and impact my content so I thought I'd go out and shoot some self-timer photos and take you all along with me. So I've got all my equipment, so I've got my big tripod, this is going to be used for my self-portrait. I've got my mini suitcase, just easy to walk about with. It's got all my outfits in. A lot of effort I'm going into for these outfit photos, but I've also got my camera on a mini tripod, which I'm going to vlog with. It might be quite hard to vlog while I'm walking, but I'm going to do my best. So my girlfriend lives in the countryside and there's a load of nice scenery like fields, there's like the canal nearby. So I thought why not take advantage of it, especially in this beautiful weather. Another thing when shooting is you kind of need to have like your locations kind of a little bit planned. So for the first spot, I came across this like yellow field when I was running the other day. I have this 90s uh, Coca-Cola rugby shirt, which is yellow. So I thought it would colour match really nicely. So I'm going to head to that field now and get the first shot. So we are at the first location, as you can see behind me, a beautiful field just full of the little buttercup flowers. I'm hoping it doesn't stain onto my shirt, so I'm gonna get changed into my first outfit. I'm thinking I'm gonna have like a low angle, try and put like some of the flowers in the foreground and show like my top half. I wish it was a little bit longer, the whole thing, so like it'd come up to my waist, but I'm probably just gonna have to do a sitting shot then. Another tip for beginners is you want the camera to be facing away from the sun, so you want the sun to be hitting your face. And as you can see on the shed behind us, we have this beautiful shadow showing off, so I'm gonna try and get a photo right there. So right here we have the first outfit. We've got the yellow Coca-Cola rugby. Goes really well with kind of these buttercups. I've got kind of buttercups in the foreground to add some depth of feel to the outfit and to the photo. Probably the worst day to do this. It is so hot, so I'm gonna be sweating. So I'm gonna try bash these out quickly, but hopefully it'll come out good. So I'm going to take a photo of this laid down as a nice product photo for the Coca-Cola for Payday Vintage. Another good way to make it look better is to add kind of something in the foreground to get some little bit of blur, adds more depth of feel and just makes the photo pop a lot more. So just finished shooting outfit number one in that yellow field. Turns out it was actually private property so the owners came out and they were like what the fuck are you doing on our field? So I pretended I was doing a fashion project and I had to kind of rush the photo so hopefully you like some of them. Honestly though, it's so hot, like jeans was such a bad shout. So I'm gonna go on for my second outfit, a vintage Germany tee. And I found this like nice bright white wall, it's like a white house. And I think the colors will just pop against it so nicely. So let's move on to outfit number two. Right now I'm at the next location right behind me. As you can see, it is just a plain white wall. The sun is hitting it so nicely. And what I love about it is you see this little bit here, like the trees, I've got these beautiful shadows against the white wall and the colour of the Germany t-shirt is just going to pop so nice against this white wall. So this is outfit number two spot. As you can see, I'm taking it from a nice low angle. Makes me look a lot taller. Also, the t-shirt is a little bit cropped, so I kind of want to hide that so make my legs look a little bit longer. I'm also centering myself between this pot and this pot, so I'm at the centre point of the subject, and the colour of this just pops so nicely. I'll probably use Photoshop to get rid of this like branding, but it just pops so nicely, and a nice bit of shadow of me behind looks so, so sick. So this is for more of like the portrait close-up shots, so show the more details of the shirt. As you can see, the nice embroidery, nice colours on the sleeve. So just finished outfit number two. My third outfit it is the guest stripe long sleeve with the green umbro shorts. I kind of want to find something that's like got the pine green to like pop and contrast with. I know right next to this location here, there's a local park. So I'm going to see if there's any like slides or things that kind of match the colors. Cause usually kids parks, it's like bright colors. So hopefully it'll match really well. And 
hopefully you've enjoyed the shot so far. I mean, it's a lot harder to film it and take the shots on your own, but I hope you enjoyed the process. Taking self-portraits can be really frustrating because like the focus might be wrong or you just can't get the angle you want to but once you finally get that photo it takes more time when you finally get it it's honestly so rewarding and the really good thing about it is like the problem with being like an Instagrammer, a YouTuber or like a vlogger is you always rely on someone else like a cameraman, someone who needs to take your photos so for doing this it makes yourself independent and once I finally get a car I can be able to just drive to locations, bring a load of outfits and just shoot a whole day of content. So I just basically hope that this video is going to inspire you to get yourself out there, find some new spots and take some nice photos. Be sure to tag me in any of the photos you take at, at @domhadley_ underscore. So the park, it was kind of open, didn't really have anything coloured that popped with it. But right next to the park, there's this like green container, as you can see right behind me, matches perfectly with the colour of my Umbro shorts. And I'll have it like completely as a backdrop, so no empty space. And I know it's in the shade, like I can see it's fully in the shade, but I'll be able to line up really nicely and get a sick shot. So this is outfit number three. So we have the guest stripe long sleeve, Umbro shorts, just the Reebok again. But as you can tell from an angle, it just looks like I'm so much taller, adds more depth to it. Whereas, if I'm taking it from flat on, it just doesn't pop as well, the photo. So if you take it from an angle, honestly, it looks so much better. Blue and green are two colours which complement so well. So the green background against the blue guest shirt just pops so nicely. So that's like, there you have it, some more poses. And now we're gonna move on to the closer shots. And I'm also gonna take some more full body ones on the front of the crate, cause it's got nice bars, so I can put my hands up. So you kind of like adapt with your surroundings. Also another thing which definitely adds more to a photo is using props. So in my next video, I'll try and bring some props with me, such as like chairs, books, whatever. Add so much more detail and kind of meaning to any photo. To finish my first three outfits, right next to the park, it is the river. So I'm gonna try and find a boat that will match perfectly with the YSL t-shirt. The YSL t-shirt's got kind of like a sailor's vibe on the front of it. So I wanna try and find a blue and white boat that would be ideal. But I thought I'm gonna have a rest, chill out. The weather is honestly amazing. It's pretty much like we're on holiday. Keeping myself hydrated. It's so weird just talking to yourself on a camera. I'm like, there's people on the park just staring at me like, what is this guy doing? But the reason why I wanted to kind of make this video is try and get out of my comfort zone, try and be creative as possible, because I know a lot of people, especially photographers, are finding it very hard during COVID-19 and that isolation. They want to get out and film. So I want to show that you can still create as good content outside on your own. And I just feel like as bad as it, it is COVID-19, it's a good way to kind of like focus on your like mental health and try things you probably wouldn't have before because you wouldn't have tried self-portraits probably if you were had mates with you because you got someone to take the photo so now you can kind of master taking photos yourself and hopefully this video will inspire you to get out there and shoot your surroundings wherever you may live because honestly just shooting inside your own house all the time is so boring like you need to get outside find new spots and get a tan at the same time So I just came across this location, I quite like that the cut up grass here and it's also in the light beside the river. And opposite we've got the nice river and then also this bit of the trees in the backdrop. And also the blue of the sky will complement so well with the t-shirt. So I'm gonna get a sitting down shot right here with that as the background. So that is the thing with photography, sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you're unlucky. So whilst I was shooting that shot in this location, a blue and white boat went past. Tried to get the photo, the five second time, it was too long, so I kind of missed it. Another boat came past, I actually got the shot, but it's a green boat, so it didn't complement that well. But it kind of shows in photography, you kind of just have to adapt to your situations. I'm gonna keep walking down, hopefully I'll find a parked up boat. For fuck's sake. So another boat just came past. <laughs> Thought I got the shot. Turns out the shot's completely out of focus. It was the perfect composition. And whilst I was rushing to sit down, I put my hand on some fucking <laughs> nettles. So not in the best mood like, but we move on. We're gonna find this boat. So this is pretty much the perfect spot. We've got the boat behind me. 
got a dangling down tree. I'm just waiting for the sun to come back out. It's gone behind the clouds, so the light is not as good, but I'm just gassed we finally found a spot with a boat and that boat isn't moving to. So hopefully we'll get a nice shot. I mean, I wanted to kind of do a standing shot, but I'll be too high above the boat. I'm so glad that I carried on walking and searching for a boat because that was the ideal shot. Like, perfect competition. The boat was still so I could take a load of shots. The sun was like glistening just onto the boat and it was pretty funny. Boat owners were actually sitting in their back garden and the woman was literally filming me because she was so confused. But she said she liked what I was doing and I gave her my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna have a new subscriber. So just found another nice spot. I'm gonna try and do like a portrait shot, a standing one, and also get the close up details of the shirt. So this is the final outfit, it's the Chanel t-shirt. I am going to take it with the Ralph joggers, but for now, whilst I'm in the shorts, I may as well get two sets of photos. The light is slapping this way, so I kind of want my body turned here, so the light is hitting the tee nicely. I kind of have my face turned this way, so I have the kind of half shadow. And I want to be exactly lined up with the line on that wall. It'll just make the composition of the photo look a lot better. Like if I'm standing here, you can see it looks better. Whereas if I stand a bit here, it just looks a bit odd. And the black just pops really nicely, and the shadows are just so nice. So if I want to face this way too, for posing, you want to kind of put your right leg forward and kind of turn this way. So I put my left leg, I'm kind of shielding my face. So you want to be standing this way. And trust me, this photo is going to bang. This will be the best one. So this is the next shot, a far shot. I've got the trousers on, can't lie. I am roasting, but it looks sick. Shows the Cheshire Cat, real nice architecture pub. Kind of wish it was white, not light blue but the colour pops nicely and the lighting is just hitting perfectly. So this is the next spot. I like that nice backdrop and I thought I'd get a nice sitting to kind of show off the Ralphie pants more like this. I'll probably take one from a lower angle to show off the shoes a bit more, but once again, the lighting is just so nice. is a wrap five different fits five different locations i hope you enjoyed this style of video i really enjoyed it and it's kind of like a nice day out i got to go out got myself a tan but i'm definitely calling that a wrap now i've got a trek to walk back I've got to carry all my stuff i'm sweating i'm starving so please like that video because i put in a lot of effort for this let me know if you want to see a part two i could do an indoor one or like another outdoor series i could go into the city center shoot more buildings and stuff i hope you got some inspiration and if you go out and take some self portraits or self timers definitely tag me on my instagram it's at them the underscore and i'll repost them on my story if you want to buy any of the items too they're all going to be on my website which is www.paydayvintage.com we sell a load of sustainable vintage clothing and be sure to share this with your friends and family have a nice day i'm going to go back to my girl friends now edit all these photos post on my instagram and if you want to see more men's fashion videos like lookbooks how to styles diys pickups then check out the rest of my videos have a nice day and i'll see you on the next one